welcome to Alexander Tarot. Um, I was just doing a reading for you guys and the stupid camera wasn't recording. Um, therefore, it's like somebody doesn't want to get you to get a message, I feel like. Like there's a message that they don't want, like they don't want the truth to be revealed. I'm getting this kind of energy, this interference because the, the camera just stopped out of nowhere, right? So regardless of what, this is gonna be for Pisces, no time spe specific, as per Alexander Tarot, anytime you press play is a time for you to receive the messages for Pisces and for those who have Pisces placements, check your chart for your placements. Also, if the reading resonates, be sure to like, share, comment, and or subscribe. It lets me know that you wanna see more of these videos and also it helps my channel to grow. If you're interested in a personal reading, you may click on the link in the, the description box below. Okay, um, again, no date or time specific. Anytime you press play is the time for you to receive the messages. So let's just get into it. The energy that I got is that someone is being completely resistant in this connection. Like they're being cold, calculated, they're playing mind games with the other person is what I just got in the last reading. And then they come in with, you know, with manipulation in mind, okay? To manipulate you into believing that they want a commitment. But then there's going to be some sort of triggering moment with this person, right? Because you're going to decide, I get the energy of you and this person deciding to move forward because they're really persuasive. And this is somebody, like I said, like in the last reading that cut off is that this person will like stop communicating with you. Like, like if you text this person, they'll leave you on read or they'll go days without responding or hours, that kind of energy. And this person I got is just somebody who wants their freedom. Like they want their cake and they want to have their cake and eat it too. So let's pull on this again. Some of you may be in a long-term commitment with this person. Okay. You may have a child or children with this person. These cards looked over so I can't ignore them, right? So again, what I'm getting here, for some of you, you may be in a long-term commitment with this person again, and you may have a child or children, take it as it resonates, but there's con there's constant arguments here. Somebody's energy is feeling defeated by this person, and it's like, there's, there's, all these, there's always these setbacks because this person keeps pulling back. There's something on the outside that has nothing to do with you that's causing delays and setbacks and just bad karma in this connection and it's because this person keeps pulling back they're not with their non-committal energy with the seven of wands here i feel like you are you know guarded from this person because you don't trust it like and i feel like you do stand up for yourself when it comes to this person i'm not getting this victimization energy i'm getting like when you have an opportunity you let this person know how you feel Right, because there's there's all this this arguing. This person is trying to intimidate you. I feel with arguments, the kind of the kind of arguments that you two have, you just left feeling drained and defeated when it comes to this person and this connection. Right, this person does that. This person is very, his energy is very triggering, and then they want to come back out of nowhere and communicate. Look at this Knight of Wands energy. This is somebody that wants to all of a sudden after they break you down and leave you on hold, neglect you, they're wanting to come in with and love bomb, and love bomb you. This is a lot of fire energy. You can be connected with an Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius, but it could be any sign, right? There's a very passionate connection here, right? So this person, they know exactly what they do to do to get what they want from you. Let me move this camera. I don't like this energy. This person knows exactly what to do. They know exactly what they're doing. They're very calculated. So now this person is wanting to, this, if this hasn't happened yet, guys, this is a prediction. This person wanted to all of a sudden communicate out of nowhere. I'm getting messages going back and forth. It could be text messages, phone calls. This person is, again, wanting to come in with um, the energy of wanting to have sex, um, wanting to seduce you. This is someone that's going to show up as somebody that was wanting to say they do value you. You know, they want to, like, show up for you the way you show up for them. This person tends to say all the right words. Why? Well, show me more with the Six of Pentacles reverse. But the problem is, <laughs> it's a situation where eventually this person starts to show you who they really are, right? Um, then you feel stuck again. Eight of Swords. Like, just feel stuck with this person because you're like, damn, why did I let this person back in again? Like, why can't I let this person go? Something about this person makes you feel like 
it's so hard to resist them. Again, there's a lot of passion here. So again, the sex could be off the hook. As, as for Alexander Tarot, I'm um, gonna hear me say that throughout the whole reading, Alexander Tarot, that is a watermark on my audio because there are fake channels that still tarot readers audio, as you know. So with the three of pentacles reverse here, this is, this is somebody at last commitment. They're not really willing to put in the work. They just wanna give you that illusion that they're going to come in, everything's gonna be all good, they're gonna seduce you. And then after it's all done, you're going to be stuck here feeling like, just feeling stuck. But the Eight of Swords is a card about mental entrapment. You're not really stuck in this situation. It is an illusion of you being stuck. Um, guys, you could be seeing um, synchronicities. I see eight here. Um, eight is the number of infinity. Um, you could be 88. The year 88 could be significant here. Somebody could be born in 88. Take it as it resonates. Or August 8th could be somebody's birthday or a significant time that something happens in this connection. So look out for August 8th. Okay, I feel like I needed to say that. Um, show me more for this connection, please, with this person. Yeah, that, whatever this person comes in with is going to be very short-lived. Okay, like this communication is love bombing and this person is... is it's like something's going to interfere with this. It's going to be a very short-lived. I feel this energy of um, you feeling very insecure and losing faith in this connection. And, and again, it's like failure again. Like something happened to bring this to his knees. Like just unhappiness. The sun reverse is unhappiness. When the cards come out sideways, I'll put them back. I only read uprights and reversals. You could be connecting with Leo. Somebody who has Leo placements. Um... Um, yeah, this is like <clears throat> something's going to happen. Something that's hidden is going to come to the surface with this person. They're going to come in. They may, again, they may seduce you. Um, they say all the right words. This person knows exactly what to do because in the last reading when I thought I was recording, the magician came out. This person has a gift to gab. They know exactly what to say to get what they want. And it's, it's all part of their manipulation, right? Um, could be very, I'm getting very strong Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. But something here, there's some sort of deception that's going to be revealed. And that's why, whatever it is, it's going to cause some insecurity in you. This is a group reading. So you got to take it as it resonates, guys. It's, it could be different for all of you, whatever this deception is. But whatever it is, there's going to be a lot of sadness here. It's going to put this connection at a standstill because you don't trust this person and you're losing faith in this person. And for some of you have a child or children with this person or you just been with this person long term, there's there's problems within the family. Something's gonna be put off. Like this this celebration of this person coming back and love bombing you and make you feel good again, it's gonna come to a halt because of whatever this is that's going to be revealed. All right? I'm gonna pull on this seven of swords reverse just to see if Spirit wants to show me. Spirit is not showing me, but whatever it is, it's some unnecessary drama, and it's going to make you want to pull back your emotions. Because I you, I get this energy, Pisces, that you tend to overgive. Pisces is a water sign anyway, very, very, very um, emotional, and I feel like you're very emotionally involved with this person. You have deep emotions for this person, and you tend to overgive. And, and, and I'm getting codependency that you overgive at the expense of your own well-being when it comes to this person. But whatever this is, it's going to make you pull back your emotions because you don't feel you can trust this person. I'm getting that very strong here. So show me this person's feelings. What is this person's feelings towards? Pisces. Show me this person's feelings, please. Wow. This again, this person's wanting to come in with three of cups. They want to come in with excitement. They, they they want to take you out. They're going to tell you they want to take you out. You're going to forgive this person. Ten of Swords reverses here. I see forgiveness. Like this person is going to tell you, like, I want to, you know, I want to make things work. I want to fix this. I know I've been effing up, but I just want us to get back to where we were and just, you know, rise above our problems. And they just, they're going to come in with all this bullshit. Just understand this person may be a narcissist because I'm getting narcissistic tendencies from this person. And I feel like this love bombing is part of their narcissism because then the tower is here, right? Why is the tower here though? Show me the messages I need to see. Why did this come out? I got to know. The Empress, why would the Empress come out as the tower? Show me the tower. 
Oh, Some of you may find out that you're pregnant here by this person, but I need to find out. Spirit, um, show me more. With the Three of Cups reverse, please clarify. I mean, Three of Cups, I'm sorry. Please clarify the Three of Cups. It's just like this person plays games, but for some of you, this is a very specific message. It's not gonna resonate for all of you, but you're gonna find out that you're pregnant. Okay, and it's going to be a bit of a surprise. Very specific. This person is, they, they, the magician, I'm telling you, this person knows exactly what to say to get back at you. For some of you, this person is going to say they want you to get pregnant. They want to get you pregnant. But I see something here with the tower, and I feel like it's connected to this. This could be a, a miscarriage. Please, the cross fell. Please clarify the tower for us, please. Again, I, some of you are gonna come in though, and with, and, and you're gonna feel like this pregnancy is gonna be the thing that changes everything. And I feel like it is gonna be a big surprise. It's gonna be sudden. But for some of you, I feel like there's still gonna be some sort of loss here. But with this, the person's gonna say, we're gonna work things out. They know exactly what to say to tell you that they're gonna be there. We're gonna we're gonna work things through. Things are gonna be beautiful. And um, we're gonna be happy. Just a lot of promises from this person. But there's still trauma. This is somebody that still continues to go in and out. I don't like this Knight of Swords energy, but I have to tell you that this, even with this situation, for some of you who are even pregnant by this person, it's going to be a short-lived celebration. Page of Cups Reverse, this is somebody still who's very immature. This person, their, their issues and how they treat you, it comes from something unresolved from their childhood. But they're going to tell you that, oh, you know, I know I have some problems, but things are going to get better, you know, um... I'm getting help. Trust and believe me with the nine of swords reversed there. Libra energy is here and Sagittarius, right? So show me this person's feeling. Show me more. Yeah, this, so this person, the media, if this hasn't happened yet, guys, this person is going to return with all of this. Because for you, I feel like you're going to find out. A lot of you are going to find out that you're shockingly that you're pregnant from this person. But show me another narrative for the tower. What's the other another narrative, please, for the tower? This person is gonna just come in with the energy of, um, you know, they've been listening to their gut. They can't shake you, they can't let you go. There's just something about you guys. Y'all belong together, six of cups. The way this person is gonna come on so hard that it's gonna be shocking. <coughs> but again, this is still gonna lead to a loss because this person is gonna reveal who they really are to you regardless. So Spirit is like, just understand that this is a test. This is a test. Be, you know, be very mindful that this person coming back in, this reunion is going to be short-lived because they haven't changed. Okay, so what's this person's intentions towards Pisces? The same. See, I told you. Their intention is just to manipulate you again. This person is very inconsiderate. Like, they, they feel like you're naive and that they can play around with you. And I hate to have to tell you that, but I need to tell you that. So this is somebody that's going to come in and make all these promises, but continue to still keep, you know, keep playing games, keep being foolish, keep manipulating, and they hold back. They hold back. But at the hair fit is at the bottom of the deck. This person is going to come in as if they want a solid commitment, but they're not really willing to take that leap of faith. They're full of shit, to be exact. So show me Pisces feelings for this person. And for those of you who do find out you're, you're pregnant, congratulations. What is Pisces feelings for this person? I feel like some of you, like at, right at this moment, you're trying to move forward from this person. Like you're detached too. You feel like this is not the right choice for me. This person has a lot of issues, right? But why is this four of pentacles here, please clarify? You have a hard time letting this person go though. You say, I want to move forward 
from this person. I know that this is not the right person for me because we've been here before. We keep going through this. This person keeps ghosting you and returning. And and you're like, why is it that I always fall for this person? It's because you, you just feel like you fear change. You're blocking your change because you, your desire is the Ace of Cups. You just have so much love for this person. You just want this person to come in and just and just just open up to you and just pour into you emotionally and this person is going to do that but it's all part of their manipulation because at the bottom of the deck as palisander tarot with the nine of cups reverse this is somebody who's going to it's a shattered situation again it's going to lack the fulfillment it's going to be very short-lived okay and even for them some of you you know again it's a very small percentage of you that are pregnant but it's large enough where it showed up in this reading solid okay so again if you don't know yet you know it's gonna it's gonna be surprising it's gonna surprise you and um if it has happened it was a surprise all right but then there's this person here who you're like i don't this is this situation this relationship is broken you don't trust this person so you really want to move forward but also i feel like you want to move forward with this person knowing you don't trust them yeah, you don't trust them. The Empress Reverse, you know this person is very aloof. They act like they don't really care about you. Um, they're excessively controlling. And they're not. They're resistant. They're not willing to do things your way. They're not somebody that you can count on. So you know that you should be moving away from this. You know this. But at the same time, you're like, damn, I can't let this person go. I don't know why I can't let this person go. Right? <sighs> Show me the challenges for Pisces when it comes to this person. You can be connecting with the Gemini. I'm getting strong Aquarius um, and Libra. Stronger Gemini as well, all right? So um, show me the challenges for Pisces. The challenges for, for you is that to for you to be able to rely on this person, for you to get a real commitment for this person. I feel like y'all don't even have the same values. Y'all view a lot of things differently. And this person is just not willing to commit. There's this is non-committal energy no matter what they say to you. So with the Knight of Pentacles reverse, again, this is somebody that promises a lot but doesn't deliver. Very, very, very stubborn. Like, not willing to confirm, putting work before you excessively. It's like putting other things above you and in front of you excessively because you're not a priority to this person. And this person is somebody who like puts, they, I feel like they put work ahead of you, but they don't really show that they're financially stable. So, the, but the challenge here is to, is to expect that this non-committal person can be somebody that you can count on. Show me advice. You could be connecting with the Taurus, but that explains a lot of the stubbornness. What advice do we have for Pisces in regards to this person? All right. Well, the advice for you is to like move away from this energy. The King of Pentacles reverses somebody. Again, they're more focused on wealth and status. And again, I feel like this is somebody that makes terrible financial decisions, but they're focused on uh, opportunity. This person is an opportunist. King of Pentacles reverse is telling me this person is an opportunist. You may have given this person money. Queen of Cups reverse. You know what I'm saying? Like this person might have gotten money from you. You really went above and beyond for this person. Right, but this person is, is a user, an opportunist, and the advice here is for you to move forward towards your growth and expansion, and to go towards healing and happiness. Okay, five of cups reverse, and like again, Ace of Wands is here though, right? So for some of you, you know, you you're, you're pregnant. There's a new beginning here, and that requires, but it doesn't require you to stay in a situation where someone's playing around with you and manipulating you, right, and treating you like shit, right? So you have to decide what you want to do. But it is, you have to focus on your peace, right? And your recovery from this person. Yeah, because you're going to get a cold reality here. Seven of Cups reverse. If it hasn't happened yet, again, it's a prediction. But I feel like for a lot of you, you got the clarity you need. You see this for what it is, but yet you just want to see something else. So when, you know, as the saying goes, when you're in love, you only see what you want to see. And this is you holding on to these deep issues. But spirit is just like, you need to see things for what it is. Yeah, there's going to be, spirit of, again, Ace of Swords, there's clarity here. You're going to, you, this person keeps showing you who they are. So there's a need for you to open your eyes. The Page of Wands is like something comes in where you just need to open your eyes and see it for what it is. Okay? There's going to be some sort of clarity here when it comes to this person. And you have to say, okay, enough's enough. You have to decide what your breaking point is, Pisces, when it comes to this person. Yeah, they're not stable. They're not stable. Nine of, of um, pentacles reversed. This is somebody who's reckless. 
and I feel like they're financially independent, depend financially dependent on you. They lack stability and security. And with, at the bottom of the deck, as presented, the tarot is the two of swords reversed. You're emotionally detached and dis you're indecisive yourself. You don't know what you should do with this person. You're like, should I stay? Should I go? But, you know, you got the clarity you need. This person will keep coming back to show you who they are. And I'm telling you, for those of you who are pregnant, a baby is not going to change that. This person is noncommittal. Two of pentacles reversed. They, there's an inability for this person to commit to anything the way they move. All right, definitely versus telling me they're going to keep you in the same negative pattern until you decide that you want to end it. So the advice is for you to see it for what it is and end it, right? So before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some Oracle messages from the messages from the universe Oracle deck. Show me the messages, please. For Pisces, you have to decide that it's enough. It gets very again very strong story Virgo Capricorn energy. It doesn't matter though if I didn't say your sign, guys. If this is your story and it's fluid, then pay attention. It's for you. Okay, so show me the messages, please. No act of kindness is ever wasted. Some of the kindest people you will ever meet have been through hell and back themselves. That strengthens their um, compassion and empathy. If this is describing you, keep being the beautiful soul that you are. In other words, don't think that you did something wrong. You know, maybe it's because I was too kind to this person. You know, they say I'm very emotional. No, don't change who you are for this person. That's part of their manipulation. Don't let this change who you are. It's not that you are you're doing anything wrong it's just that you know it's not that you shouldn't be compassionate and loving and empathetic it's just that you're giving all of this to the wrong person show me more please for pisces live your life to its fullest potential let go of the need for approval from others live up to your own expectations and nobody else's no more selling yourself short keep moving forward you've got this because i feel like a lot of you are trying to prove to this person that you're good enough and it's just like, you don't have to prove to this person that they're good enough. They're, they're the ones that can't measure up to you. They're the ones with the problem. Love yourself more by saying no to things that feel draining and burdening for you. Saying no when you want to say no instead of saying yes to please others, other people is a real act of self-love. Yeah, you have to pour into yourself. You know, this is draining. You know, love is not draining and burdensome. That's, the signs are showing you that this is not what it feels like. This is not what it should feel like. This should not be for you. And also with that tower card, I'm just picking a downloaded message up. Guys, that I feel like some of you who are pregnant are going to end the pregnancy. And it's, you know, it's a painful decision to make. And I feel like you're going to do it abruptly. You're not going to tell this person. And if you do, you're going to tell them after. You know, so my heart goes out to those of you who are who are doing that and for others I also feel like they even may be a uh, miscarriage so my heart goes out to you as well if you suffered a miscarriage as a result of this or you do but i feel like it's the stress so for those of you who have not suffered a miscarriage there's a danger of that so you know please you know take care of yourself right for some of you because you you, you feel like you don't want to be with this person you like i don't want to have this baby with this person if this person is not going to be here Okay, I'm pro-choice, do what you need to do, but my heart goes out to you. We are always speaking to you and sending you messages when you feel like you are alone in this situation. You know that you, you never truly are. We are reminding you to stop, look around, and believe in something else, something more. We've got your back, all right? That's God letting you know you're not alone. I believe in God, you know, one power. Whatever you guys want to call it is entirely up to you, all right? When you hold on to the past, it stops you from living in the present. Release any old hurts or worries or regrets. Commit to being in the here and now. Forgive yourself for where you think you may have been wrong. You deserve inner peace. Let it go. Yeah, so, you know, the past is the past. You can't unring a bell. But you have to be present now to make a decision as to what you're going to do presently and for your future. Because you do deserve better, Pisces, all right? At the bottom of the deck in your journey, there will be times when you feel lost, confused, lonely, and angry. These are times of transition. You won't feel those emotions forever. You are transitioning to a better, stronger version of yourself. Shed away those unneeded layers and keep growing. Yes, so it's not going to be easy to walk away from this, but it's absolutely going to get to a point where you're going to get rewarded for it. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is something freeing here. 
okay? So just know that this has to happen so that you can have the love that you deserve and the happiness that you deserve. So before I close out this reading, I am going to ask the spirit who else is coming towards you in love to see if there's any answers there, okay? Yeah, this is that stuck energy, hangman reverse. This person, is, this flew off the deck. Spirit is just gonna, this person is gonna continue to keep you stuck if you stay with them. Who's coming? Who else is coming towards Pisces? And love? Because Pisces, we don't want you to settle, right? Wow, who's coming towards Pisces and love? Okay, the person that's initially coming towards you in love is the same person, the King of Wands reverse. This person that has all these issues, but they deflect them onto you, project them onto you. They promise you a lot, but they never show up. This disrespectful, impulsive person. There's going to be some sort of triggering moment here. Okay, this is somebody that you still can't trust. The moon is here. This is somebody that keeps secrets. You could be connecting with another Pisces or somebody who has Pisces in their chart. Um, but this is somebody that wants to come in and give you an illusion that everything's going to be all good. And, you know, I want to work on this. We can work on this. Seven of Pentacles here. So this person is going to, you know, come back first. They're going to they're gonna come back. Right, you. This is you sitting here, just trying to figure out what direction to go in at a crossroads. This is a painful decision that you need to make, right? But you're gonna get the clarity that you need. Show me who's coming towards Pisces. Look at that. Once you get the clarity that you need, and you see things again, you you should have seen this already because this person keeps showing you clarity. But finally, you're going to get out of this stuck energy because this is a triggering moment. This is a test of this person's. You're going to see them for who they are. You're going to know they're full of shit. You should know that by listening to this reading. You're going to get the clarity that you finally need. And then, you know, there's going to be someone that's going to come in for you. There's going to be another love offer. This is someone who's honest and transparent, right? This is somebody who has a lot of high standards. This person knows what they want. They're not coming in with no gains. Knight of Cups is here. This is your ideal partner, okay? So once you get clarity on this and you see this for what it is, you have this Knight of Cups coming in. And look at the bottom of the deck, all right? Ace of Wands for the second time. So there's gonna be a beginning here. Some of you, again, you may find out that you are pregnant by this person and this is what I'm seeing. But for the, all, for the rest of you, there's gonna be a passionate new beginning because it's gonna come out of this breakthrough and then this Knight of Cups is going to come in. The right person is going to come in once you release this person. Now, as far as the time frame, um, that, that varies because this is a collective. But just know, you don't have, there's no reason for you to feel like you need to stay in a situation. To be with somebody who doesn't, who's, who keeps you confused and stuck. You don't have to. You can see things for what they are. You're going to get what you deserve with this King of Swords. You're going to get what you deserve with this Knight of Cups. All right? So from the new person, by the way. So those are the messages that I have for you, Pisces, for this reading. If it resonated, let me know. Um, as pals in the tarot, I wish you healing. I wish you love and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.